Hey everyone, in this video I will go into detail about Kingdom Hearts 2's mysterious anti-form that catches many players by surprise during normal gameplay. Let's start with the obvious question, what is anti-form? It is a form that Sora randomly transforms into when going into most dry forms giving him a sort of heartless appearance. In this form, Sora also does not wield a keyblade. Supposedly, the devs added anti-form in as a counter to drive abuse. This way, it conveys to the player that relying only on drives is not a good way to play since they can be incredibly strong when used properly. When you transform into anti-form, a ton of negative side effects occur, and because most of the time it isn't desired to go into anti-form, it's important to know the disadvantages you're faced when going into anti-form. As soon as you transform into anti-form, you immediately lose your party members while in the form and your drive gauge count goes to zero. This means unless you can have the game auto-revert you from anti-form, you're going to lose all your drive gauges. In anti-form, you cannot revert unless the fight is over. Your only means of getting rid of anti-form is by waiting for the drive gauge to deplete. This is done by either waiting or lowering it yourself by attacking, unless you are in a situation where the game auto-reverts you from a form, such as walking into a cutscene or room where the party members are taken out of your party to walk around by themselves. Note that if you can leave a room in anti-form, that also can revert you, but you still lose all your drive unless it's an auto-revert situation. While stuck in anti-form, you lose your ability to heal, use reaction commands, and you take more damage as well. All of these combined are incredibly dangerous on higher difficulties, usually securing a death on a bunch of boss fights. These side effects should be known for a player to react properly to going into anti-form. Although there are many disadvantages to getting anti-form, there are actually some advantages in anti-form that are unique. For one, anti-form's movement is extremely fast and agile, allowing you to outspeed some attacks. Secondly, anti-form's attacks have many parry frames which can help you survive while attacking a boss sometimes. The damage output in anti-form combos are not too shabby as well. Now I will explain when you can and cannot turn anti-form. There are actually situations where you have no chance of going anti-form which can lead to confusion. For example, in any fight where Sora is by himself, you automatically can never get anti-form, so fights like Luxor and Roxas where you can go into limit form, you can without any fear of getting anti-form. Not only that, but there are certain bosses which you cannot get anti-form on, such as Pete, Barbosa, Hades, and Hydra. The assumption is when there are forced extra party member situations, it removes the chance of anti-form. For instance, in the Olympus Pete fight, you have Hercules helping you, or in the Hydra fight, you have Phil and Meg helping you. The exceptions don't end there, though. If either of your party members are currently dead, you cannot get anti-form either, which is why many players don't get anti-form in hard fights where party members die easily. Lastly, in case it needs to be mentioned, you can also not get anti-form unless you're in a fight. So if you want to use a form in a fight but are worried about getting anti-form, try going into the fight already in that form, unless you're going into a fight where the game auto-reverts you from a form. Knowing these situations will help you understand the anti-form hidden point counter that I will bring up next. To normal players, anti-form may look completely random, however it is not entirely random and is almost completely controllable if you know how the point mechanics work. What the game doesn't clue you in on is that it has a hidden point counter for anti-form that is in no way viewable to the player. This point counter is what determines your probability of transforming into anti-form. There are ways of manipulating this point counter to help you get the results you want. Unfortunately, just like the point counter itself, the game in no way helps you. But that now brings me to this next large segment of the video. I will now fully explain in detail the mechanics of the anti-form point counter. For starters, the point counter can never be lower than zero. Going into a drive form that is not final form will add one point to the counter. There is a misconception that limit form does not add to the counter, but it does. Also, every time you obtain a new form, your point counter is reduced to zero no matter how high it was. Going into final form reduces the point counter by 10, and getting anti form reduces the point counter by 5. Note that in original KH2, anti form reduced the point counter by 4 instead of 5, despite the wiki pages not stating this. Now, to contradict the previous information on the point counter mechanics, there are actually exceptions to increasing the point counter, surprisingly, some of which have not been known for very long in the KH community. Most of these follow the rules of going anti form in the first place. As it turns out, your point counter will not increase in a situation where Sora is alone in a fight, as well as if a party member is dead. You will also not gain any anti-points in a scenario where you are with a forced party member, such as Ping. On top of that, in a situation where you do get anti-form, the drive you use to get anti-form will not add a point. So if you have 7 anti-form points and go into Valor but get anti, it will not bump up the count to 8 before taking 5 off from it. Instead, it'll just immediately subtract 5 points from the 7 points. In 2FM, the Keyblade 2 Become 1 was added in as a reward for beating Roxas. This Keyblade has a rather unique ability that when you equip it, you can pretty much trigger Anti-Form on command. However, there is more to this Keyblade than that, so I will explain a bit more on how it actually works. So most people know by now that this Keyblade gets you either Anti-Form or Final Form. However, it isn't that simple. You can only obtain Final Form with this Keyblade once. 
after you do, it's only exclusively used to get Anti-Form. The devs likely put this Keyblade in as a way to make Final Form easier to obtain. Without going too much into detail, you will definitely get Final Form the first time within 1 to 5 Anti-Form transformations, with the fifth one being Final Form. This Keyblade just speeds up that process. Also, just like with normally going Anti-Form, this Keyblade has to follow the restrictions of Anti-Form, meaning in certain situations, as I've stated earlier in the video, you won't be able to get Anti and just go into normal form. Now I should explain the probability of getting Anti-Form since you now know the ground rules of going Anti-Form and how the game keeps track of your points. The probability is of course based on your anti-points. Basically, there are a few thresholds that determine a set percentage, and then that percentage is multiplied by certain conditions. If your anti-points are 0 to 4, then your next drive has a 0% chance of being anti-form, except with 2 become 1 equipped. If your anti-points are 5 through 9, then your next drive has a base 10% chance of going anti-form. If you have 10 or more points, then that becomes a 25% chance. Those are only the base percentages, however. There are also multipliers depending on the situation of the fight. If you are in a scripted fight, which includes most bosses, you have a times 2 chance of getting anti-form. Certain bosses, such as Pete, Barbosa, Hades, or Hydra that I mentioned above, have a times 0 multiplier, meaning you have no chance of anti-form. Lastly, if you are fighting an organization member, the multiplier is 5, which is why many players tend to get anti-form in those fights. For some unexplained reason, the first armors in this fight has a 10 times multiplier, which means if your anti-points are 5 or more, you have a 100% chance of anti-form in that fight as long as you meet anti-form conditions. Knowing this, you can now calculate your probability of getting anti-form in a fight if you keep track of your points. So if you have 7 anti-points, you know that you have a 10% chance of anti-form in normal fights, and a 20% chance in scripted boss fights, and then a 50% chance in organization fights. Likewise, if you have 10 anti-points, you have 50% chance in scripted fights and 100% chance in organization fights. If you're wondering how to keep track of anti-points, it can be tricky, but if you know that getting a new form brings you back to zero, that helps. Some players abuse this fact to form grind previous forms before obtaining a new drive form to pretty much level them for free without anti-form being the punishment. If you know that final form lowers it by 10 each usage, then if you're at that point in the game, you can easily just go final form a few times to definitely ensure it's zero. Antiform has various attacks depending on what you press or your situation. One thing of note with Antiform is that most attacks linger for a while, so it's hard to tell them apart in a combo or stop the combo to get away from an attack. Also note that Antiform has its own growth ability, which is generally called Anti-Glide. This ability cannot be leveled up like normal growth and is only available during Antiform. That is about all you really need to know about Antiform. This video taught you how Antiform works, how it is triggered, what Antipoints are and how to manipulate them, Antiform probability, and displayed Antiform attacks. I hope this video will finally help people understand Antiform mechanics better. It's unfortunate the game devs did not tell us the mechanics of Antiform themselves. I believe if that were the case, then players would be much more okay with Antiform since if the game displayed your point counter under status and maybe told you the multipliers or conditions, then at least players would know their chances of Antiform when they choose to use it in a fight. However, it is what it is. As always, thanks for watching.